Well, good morning, good afternoon, and of course, good evening, traders from across the globe. I'm back on U.S. soil, and I wanted to just give you a quick video this Sunday evening to get you prepared for markets on Monday. This video, the 2,832nd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar, is coming at you on a Sunday night through Monday. Well, it's coming at you on a Sunday night, and it's valid from Sunday through Monday, 11-25, 2024. Remember that trading is risky, 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 risky. Never trade without stops. Put those protective stops in first. No matter what anyone tells you, listen to me. Put those stops in first. You'll live a lot longer in this business. So, <clears throat> for trading on Sunday night through Monday, E-mini S&P is giving Omni buy signals. Now, the E-mini S&P had made its way all the way up and literally nailed the Omni year-end target, baby, one month before the end of the year. We were looking for 60.55. You hit 60.53.25 and then had a pullback. Pulled back to the average. Omni's getting buy signals. I like what I see. So we are buyers of dips for trading on Sunday night through Monday in E-mini S&P. What else might we have out there for you? Let's go take a look. Check out this chart, gold. Now gold is back above that average. If you remember, I've been showing this to you for quite some time. Average holds well, market has a rally. Drops to the average if it holds well, market has a rally. Gets under the average, tries to retest, boom, has a drop. Now back above that very average. Interesting, and Omni's got a buy signal for trading Sunday, Monday. And then, of course, there is this. Don't forget this guy, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Unbelievably, Bitcoin also hit the Omni year-end target at 85,000. This was the Bitcoin five-year target. It actually came in exactly 12 months early. It hit the 85,000 mark already. I'm expecting Bitcoin to go higher. I will work up another target now that I'm back on US soil, sitting at my main helm desk. But we've got the 104 area, which was, you know, short-term analysis I did while I was away in the UK. So right about here, there's some resistance. We'll see what's gonna happen. And then I will work up my Bitcoin targets and see where it's supposed to go from there. So I hope this prepares you for what's happening on Sunday night through Monday. Remember that this is a holiday week. It's a big one in the US, Thanksgiving, towards the end of the week. We'll talk about that in tomorrow night's videos. But for tonight, we should be safe. Join me at live with Oscar.com. I'm back in my live trading rooms. Please, please subscribe to these videos, like and share them all over the internet. It'll really help me help others the way I try to help you. And then, of course, keep your emotions out of trading. How do we do that? We say this to ourselves over and over again. Traders, are you with me? One, two, three. Stop, so in emotions are out. Rock and roll traders, make sure you come see me at livewithoscar.com where I can help you out and we can spend our days and nights in these insane markets. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you all at Live with Oscar.